What's up guys and in this video I'm going to be showing you three AI tools that I think will help you uh, in your development especially if you're someone who's a fanboy of Next.js like myself. The third one especially is a time saver and a game changer so let's get into it. The first tool is Vercel's AI SDK. I know there's a lot of SDKs out there that make it very easy to you know connect your application to an LLM uh, that make it very seamless and abstract a lot of the headaches uh, so that we could just build um, clean UIs and great uh, user experiences. But the reason why I put Vercel's AI SDK is because of this thing or this term they've coined called gener generative user interfaces. Now, what's cool about generative user interfaces, it's not just your regular chat uh, where you ask a question or you request a task um, and the LLM just responds with words, right? Instead of just text, the LLM can now respond in components, right? So imagine, for example, there's an example here where let's say you uh, type in saying art made by Van Gogh, and then it actually gives you, look at that, look at that, right? So they've abstracted a lot of the headache because this is not simple to just set up. It's, it's not easy to do all this stuff. So they've abstracted um, all the headache of being able to set this up in one very clean, simple SDK, they also have um, other tools where like, you know, you can set up a simple chat application, they work with multiple providers, um, you know, streaming responses is very, very easy. So number one tool is definitely Vercel's AI SDK. Number two, we have Cloudflare AI. Now this is very slept on. I don't see a lot of uh, people talk about this, but uh, Cloudflare has a lot of of functionality. There are so many tools on Cloudflare. And I'll be honest, with you, a lot of them are free. Like a lot of people are, you know, a lot of web devs take Cloudflare for granted. There's so much free tooling that you can use to enhance uh, your applications. It's insane. And one of the things I recently discovered is they have this ai.cloudflare.com uh, section in their site where you can essentially run these uh, generative actions, tasks, on Cloudflare. So if I click on get started, they have a couple of templates, right? So if you've seen my, if you've been subscribed to my YouTube channel, you've seen my Cloudflare workers uh, YouTube video where I talk about basically any sort of task that takes too long to finish. Um, I'll just use a Cloudflare worker. Now you can set up a Cloudflare worker for various uh, generative tasks or applications. For example, they have this template speech to text app. If I click use template, it's a simple function, and if I want text to speech to text, I got it. It's it's literally that simple. Or let's look at image classification. Again, one function. I click deploy. It's that simple. So don't sleep on Cloudflare AI. I might actually do a tutorial video um, using Cloudflare AI. So if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe and let me know uh, down below in the comments. So Cloudflare AI is tool number two. Now number three. This has to be my favorite one, and this is Open Router. You have various AI models like Anthropic, OpenAI, GPT, um, Mistral, Llama. Now, and when you're building agents, it, it can be very hard managing all these different models that you can be using, all the different API keys, all the rate limiting, and all that stuff. Open Router solves all of that. All you need is one Open Router API key, and you have access to every single model known to existence. I'm literally talking about every single model, all the llamas, all the, whatever model there is, Mistral, any single model that you want, right? Anthropic, Claude, whatever model it is, is on open router. And all you need is one API key. And the reason why this is so clutch and I recently use this is because for my AI SaaS rank boost, where we use different models um, as agents to perform cer certain tasks, uh, managing API keys was kind of difficult. And the reason being is we asked the user to input API keys. And for a user that might not be super technical, getting three different API keys is very, very difficult, right? Imagine getting perplexity and then Claude and then GPT. Like that's three separate API keys. Again, for us devs, it doesn't mean much, but imagine for just someone who isn't that technical, right? But with open router, all you need is one API key. And then we can call whichever um, model that we need to use for a specific task. So open router, very slept on, 
probably my favorite AI tool. And if you're building any sort of AI application and you're using any of the newer models where the rate limiting might be a little too tight, um, open router is the way to go. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. I got more tutorials, more AI tools that I'll be showing you guys. And if you can subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell, that means the world to me. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.